Hello and welcome to Amsterdam's red light district. Now, um, before you get all uptight and say, oh my gosh, Gunnar, you're in the red light district of Amsterdam, it actually is not all that bad. As a matter of fact, we have canals here, we have ducks, and there's old people and tour groups going through here and everything like that. It is actually kind of a tranquil environment. Let me explain to you a little bit about the red light district of Amsterdam. Basically, the city has um, not has legalized prostitution. Women can rent these windows out right here for 100 to 150 euros a day. And uh, if they're good at their job, so they can make 500 to 750 euros a day. Um, basically, uh, things start at 50 euros, as it's as crass as that sounds. But, um, you know, it works out here. And uh, I thought the red light district would be quite kind of a seedy environment, but it is quite tranquil. Look at the canal over here. And as I said, there's tour groups going through here. People go back and forth to work. Um, one thing I thought that was very interesting about uh, the prostitution here in Amsterdam is that um, they're involved in a union, the Red Thread Union as a matter of fact, and as it's a legal occupation here, they have to pay taxes. That's right, they file taxes with the government every year. Um, that is very interesting, and also as a matter of fact, the marijuana trade in Amsterdam is legalized. That's right, a mayor decided that he didn't, didn't want to put people in jail for smoking marijuana, so he gave out licenses to coffee shops and what have you. Um, it, it, Amsterdam is quite a unique environment. It is not as a CD as I thought it was. It's actually quite nice, and it's a very interesting place to visit. It's, it, is, it is quite cultural. But I thank you very much. Next, I will be coming to you from Paris. But until then, this is Gunnar coming to you from Amsterdam's Red Light District.